This year, the Miss Minnesota executive team has identified three strategic initiatives to support local pageant directors in creating the vision we just shared with you. Last year, the average number of local participants per pageant was 4.62. This number takes into account the fact that many of the open pageants featured several contestants who competed in multiple pageants. We estimate that the actual number of people participating last year to be around 100. Therefore, strategic initiative number one is to double the average number of local participants per pageant by 2018. Let's take a macro look at where our local pageants are being held first. Of the 25 local pageants held last year, six were held in the metro areas of Coon Rapids, Lakeville, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Moorhead, and Rochester. That's 24% of the pageants, which means 76% are held outside the metro area. Historically, 47 of the now 76 Miss Minnesotas, a whopping 62%, came from metro area pageants, including five of the last 10 years. On the other hand, 19 local pageants were held outstate, and historically just 38%, or 29 of 76 title holders, including five of the last 10, came from the outstate. 41 of the 76 title holders were crowned at local pageants that no longer exist or have moved to other parts of the suburbs. The executive team is exploring ways to test the waters and gauge interest in returning to the Miss Minnesota system. Recruiting has always been a challenging topic, with lots of common sense ideas that prove to be more than difficult to execute. One obvious idea for recruiting has been to network at colleges because that is where our target audience spends a great deal of time. Metro area directors have an advantage here, with multiple college populations within a half an hour of their pageants. There are 40 colleges in the metro area within a half hour drive from one or more of the local pageants. If we were to successfully recruit just one from each college, imagine the impact we could have on increasing local participation. Strategy number one, contact sororities, music clubs, dance clubs, and other likely clubs with a compelling offer to invite Miss Minnesota to their next meeting or event as a guest performer or speaker. The purpose is to engage in conversations with prospective candidates to develop interest in competing at the local level. Our Miss Minnesota, Savannah Cole, is already working on this. If you have connections where having Miss Minnesota might help, give us a call and we'll do whatever we can to help you. Strategy number two, use social media contacts we have to connect with students at these colleges to leverage referrals or prospects. Same purpose as number one, but more efficient. Perhaps you know of someone in college who may wish to help find the next Minnesota. Let's use the power of our current Miss Minnesota to help in the recruiting process. A recommendation for both of the above strategies is to create a powerful slide rocket presentation that may be shared with prospects at some point in the recruiting process. The slide rocket is a customized informational presentation that replaces the old-fashioned brochure. We'll show you this presentation in another video. Strategy number three, referral networking conversations. The owner of the salon, the director of the skating club, the community theater director, youth leaders in many churches, teachers, music, choir directors, athletic directors at school, 4-H directors, Girl Scout troop leaders, FFA, talent coordinators at the county fair. These are all potential contacts for a referral networking conversation. How many of these contacts have you spoken with? If we've left some out, please add them to your conversation list. Best practices suggest that a face-to-face -face conversation is most effective in getting names from these sources. Try priming the pump by asking them about a couple of people you are interested in to see if they know them. This usually helps you transition into more names that they know. If we can focus on finding the best sources for referrals, our likelihood of success increases. If you can find the prospective candidates, but either don't have time to recruit or would prefer some outside assistance, please give us a call. We would love to help as our time allows.